simply getting started. Cause we ain't got no time to waste. I don't mind. Hey, what is going on, guys? So I did a poll about 19 hours ago, and this thing popped off. I said, what are you looking forward to the most for Epic 7 in October for, like, units? And it seems like slime is really hyped, and new units are insane. We're going to go ahead and look at some uh, comments, and then I want to show you something that I accidentally discovered in the, uh, the files, and I think it could be pretty hype, depending on if this is actually, like, going to be what's releasing with the next collab. So let's go ahead and take a peek. I did reply to some of these, but there's so many comments in here, boys. <clears throat> so excited for new units. Let's see next week. I don't believe they're going to tease a new unit this week because there probably is no live stream. Uh, yeah, I think the next live stream should probably be closer towards the beginning of October, like at the end of uh, this month, maybe. I don't really know how they do their live streams. I'm still trying to learn about it, how they do this stuff, but I'm assuming they're going to show off the units soon, pretty soon, right? So, Lua and Ar uh, Aranka revealed this Wednesday for sure. Cannot wait. That sounds amazing. I can't wait to see both those units. I'll show you who they are once we get to the part that I'm going to show you guys in a, like, a second. But uh, I'm excited for both these units. I don't know which one's going to be the limited. Maybe one of them is. Maybe one of them isn't. I don't know. But if I had to guess, Aranka is probably the limited just because I think she looks cooler. Maybe I'm wrong, though. She could be the normal RGB. Uh, when, so, uh, the, uh, I don't, so when is support model Venus come out? Isn't that that one fake leak that came out a while ago that people were talking about? I don't know if it was fake or confirmed to be fake, but I think I know what he's talking about, but it's, uh, I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. Uh, probably SSB return. What's good? That's probably not going to be until the custom banner return, which should be next year or later this year. I feel like the best thing for do, for them to do, honestly, for the custom banner is twice a year. One at the beginning of the year, one at the end of the year. I think that way you cover all like sections of the game for new players. Because normally when new players join, it's going to be around anniversary or around the New Year's, I would assume, right? And last one is I want Rimuru, bro. Me too. Me too. So it seems like a lot of people are excited for the Slimy Run. And it does seem like a lot of people are excited for these new units. To be honest, they do look really cool. And depending on how they design them, I think they could be really awesome. I don't want them to power creep per se, but I do want these units to be meta personally. So as long as they're meta, I'll be happy with them. So we're going to go ahead and cut into the files real fast. Boop. And uh, yeah, that's a Xion. That's a Xion model. Not only is it a Xion model, she has facial expressions, bros. So I don't know what this is pointing towards that she's coming into the game. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, this, this is 100% confirming it. I don't know. I, I It could. It could be a very good reasons why Slime's going to come back and get a new character. It wouldn't surprise me, but at the same time, I don't want to be like, yo guys, this is 100% guaranteed coming. Like, I don't want to trick you guys and you'd be like a clickbait douchebag. But at the same time, I do want you to recognize that she has a model and facial expressions in the game, okay? She has this in the data, in the game. Uh, so this could be realistically an outcome for the Slime Lab. Not confirmed, but could be. So I wanted you guys to keep that aware. If I had a guess, she's probably going to be a warrior. Just because, look, it's, it's Shion, man. She's probably going to be a warrior. Probably a single target warrior, too. I don't know, man. I'm excited. I hope this is real. I hope that this uh, character is what comes with the slime rerun. Because in my opinion, the ReZero rerun was kind of dull. Because there's no you, no, you no new unit like Reinhardt or... Um, what's her name? Like the one they gave they gave the Grand Cross. I never remember the, the the mage's name or the uh the witch's name. Echidna. Like Echidna and Reinhard made it to Grand Cross, but we never got that on, you know, Epic Seven. But maybe because technically speaking, Slime reran on Grand Cross already, and they got Demon Lord Rimuru, right? There's a chance they just keep us with the same Rimuru and just give us Shion. Like, I would take a Shion any day. I, I would summon for this unit. I, I would, if I'm speculating, she's probably going to be an er, 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 uh, Ice Warrior. That's my speculation, because Rimuru is Grass and Milim is Fire, so it would make sense for her to be an Ice Warrior. That would complete the whole... This would be such a cool little addition towards um, the game, in my opinion. But we're going to go ahead and look at the other characters that are coming, because I don't want you guys to get too excited for Slime. Once again, this is in the files. It's not like I'm making it up. But um, we're going to be looking at Arunka, who is also in the files. Should be probably getting an announcement pretty soon, because I'm pretty sure Arunka's closer to being done than Lua. 
Is her, is her name Lua? L-U-A, Lua. Yeah, but here we go. Arunka is also, you know, got the same thing going on with the facial expressions, the smiles, etc. Like, yeah, yeah, all that cool stuff. So, once again, we know that she's already on her way in. We just know, we don't know when she's going to drop. I'm assuming it's going to be October. I mean, she's all, like, fallish style. Of, so, like, she's got the leaves and everything. This would be a good introduction towards the new, like, episode limited character. A fall exclusive would be kind of cool. Um, and then the other one was going to be called Lua. Lua. I think her name is Lua. It's almost like Luna with at the end. Lua. Luna. Lua. <laughs> Something like that, right? So here's what she looks like. This one could be also the limited just because of the way she looks. Like, they both look so good. Who do you think will be the limited unit? Or do you think they have yet to reveal the limited unit? Well, let me know in the comments below because I am curious to know what you guys think of these units and who are you more excited for visually looking. We don't know anything about their kits for the most part. I mean, I'm assuming... Arunka is probably going to be a warrior or a thief. This unit looks more so of a style of a mage or a soul reaver. Just speculating. I don't actually know. We have no actual confirmed evidence of what they are. I'm just speculating based off how they look visually, right? So we got a lot of cool things coming. We got the slime rerun coming pretty soon. I'm assuming Xion should be announced with it. If Xion is not announced and she's got a freaking model in game, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be upset, bro. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be upset too, because like, what's the point of having a model in the game if you're not gonna make her a unit? And I hope she's good at least. Don't make her subpar. Make her good, dude. It's Xion. But uh, yeah, that's gonna probably be it for this video. If you guys would like me to, I could make a concept design based around Xion. I, I usually can do some cool stuff with like concept designs. I've done a few in the past and the videos have done really well. If you'd like me to do concept design for Xion, I can do so, but it'd have to be very soon before the announcement of Slime gets announced. I'm assuming it'll probably be any time in October, probably more so mid to late October, but we don't actually know because once again, they could rerun it earlier just to buy more times for the design of the new units, or they could drop the new units first. To make you spend your bookmarks and then bring the slime collab with Xion and Rimuru. Oh man, that would make people flip. That would make me the oh, do people would lose their minds, dude. Xion and, and slime would be sick. But yeah, that's gonna be the three things we talk about for the day was Lua, uh, Arunka, and potentially seeing Xion in the slime rerun. Who knows? It's in the files. She's got a character model. It's very much so possible, but it's not confirmed. So remember, keep your head on a swivel. Take this with a grain of salt. The only thing we do know is that Lua and Arunka are definitely going to be units where Xion... The sky is the limit with her. So yeah, it's going to be for this video, guys. I hope you guys are excited. I am definitely, definitely excited for Xion. I think that's the, out of all three units, Xion's the one I'm most excited for because I think she's a really cool unit in Slime. I'm, I'm a... I'm a small slime watcher. I've watched a few episodes of it, and Xion's definitely, like, the coolest, in my opinion, and the hottest. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below if you think Xion's coming to, uh, Epic 7, or do you think it's just there to, for story purposes, not really any other reason. I hope it's character purposes, but we don't really know yet, so. I'll talk to y'all later. Let me know in the comments below what you think, and if you'd welcome Xion to Epic 7. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a good one. Peace. A few moments later. On second thought, I decided why not just make her for fun just in case uh, you guys are curious of how I would do it or I was bored. So but we're here. This happens. So she owns an ice cancer warrior. Her attack is going to be 975 after awakening. Health is 7054. Speed is 106. Defense is 652. Critical hit chance is 15%. Critical hit damage is 50%. Dual attack chance is 5. And the 0 and 0 for effectiveness and effect resistance. Her imprints are going to be health for the team and critical hit chance for herself. So we're going to make her a Ice Cancer Warrior just because I feel like this could be something. Oh, I don't know what she's going to be. I'm just going to just assume she's an Ice Warrior because it, it feels like Slime is missing an Ice character. Alright guys, going into her S2, Divine Berserker starts the first battle with 50 Fighting Spirit. Increases critical hit damage by 30%, immediately recovers 15% of damage taken when attacked. Gains 10 Fighting Spirit for each ally attacked, and when the caster's Fighting Spirit is full, consumes all Fighting Spirit to increase defense for 2 turns before increases combat readiness. So she's going to be able to uh, get her defense buff. Uh, against AoE cleavers and you know, anything that like attacks her ally, she's gonna boost up her combat readiness up pretty nicely. So that's going to be her S2, kind of her bread and butter, making her a, com all right, fighting spirit unit. So let me know what you guys think of this. 
And let's move on to the next one. Going on to her S3, Multi-Layer Barrier. This will give her 50 Fighting Spirit, 3 souls on a 5 turn cooldown. Attacks all enemies with a giant sword before granting a barrier to the caster for 2 turns before increases combat readiness by 50%. A critical hit will grant a barrier to allies for 2 turns. Barrier strength increases proportional to the caster's damage dealt, increases proportional to the caster's defense. Uh, soul Burn Effect is going to grant her an extra turn. It will cost 20 souls. And then her enhancements are going to be damage, cooldown, damage, and barrier strength. So I don't imagine Xi Xion being a hyper carry. I, I see her more so being a supportive warrior. So for this reason, I gave her barriers. I just feel like since she can do that already, uh, why not just give her barriers? I didn't really notice to do with her, so give her something that would be just good for the team overall. That way, if you want to play a bit more slower, you can just utilize her to keep you alive and protected. And on top of that, you know, barriers are always good. Going to her S1, Hercules Edge Drake. Uh, this will give her 25 Fighting Spirit and 1 Soul. Slices the enemy with a giant sword with a 50% chance to decrease attack for one turn. Damage dealt increases proportional to caster's defense. Uh, okay, so this will just get a damage increase in effect chance increase on the, uh, the Mola, so the skill enhancement. So there you guys go. She's going to be a fighting warrior that can do barrier stuff, which is kind of cool in my opinion. Going on to her artifact, because I think every unit that's, uh, you know, a collab unit gets an artifact. Uh, certain outcome, it's a warrior exclusive. Dispels one debuff from all allies and recovers 10% of each ally's max health after using an attack skill if a barrier is on the caster. I don't know, something simple. I didn't know, I didn't know what else to do with her, so this is going to be Xion. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little video, and uh, let me know what you guys think of this little concept design. I don't really know if it's really good or not. I feel like it's decent. There can be th some things adjusted to it, but at the same time, I feel like the idea is there. It just needs to be a little more polished. I did this together in like 20 minutes, so heck W. Thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We're on our way to 3,000 subscribers, so if you'd like to help me get there, I'd appreciate you guys. I'll talk to y'all later, and uh, hopefully Xion does come to the game because I feel like she'd be pretty hyped. So I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.